All right, everybody. So this is what we're creating today. This is another um, way to go about doing scene compositing. And um, what I have here is a photo with a hovering model, a nice uh, model made by Nick Campbell from Grayscale Gorilla that I got from his uh, free model pack. And I uh, have it hovering in this old warehouse setting with the shadows sort of casting. So let's go ahead and talk about how to do this. So to begin, what we want to do is uh, First, bring in a camera, and uh, once we have the camera, we want to apply a tag to it. So go up to Objects Manager, click on Tags, <clears throat> go to Cinema 4D Tag, and then Camera Calibrator. Uh, here what we have is a whole menu in the Attributes Manager uh, that will allow us to bring in an image and uh, create a camera mapping tag and create a background object. So to begin with, let's click on Image and then load in our, um, our file. So here we can go to choose the photographic file that we want. In this case, I have this kind of construction site, this warehouse construction site. Um, and uh, what I want to do with this piece now is to drop in uh, some of the uh, calibration that will match the scene. So once I have the image, it, it brings it up and into our viewport, and then we need to calibrate it. <clears throat> so in order to do this, what we want to do is line up uh, some of the lines with the geometry that is, act, that is actually in the scene. And we want to assign these, these uh, positions uh, along our X, Y, and Z axis. So to do so, we can uh, simply start by adding a line. So if we bring in a line, what we want to do is line this up along a uh, point in the geometry. These two uh, sort of lines, these sort of almost like railroad tracks going back into space will be perfect for what we need. So just grab these two points and um, line them up. Notice that you get this little magnifying glass so you can line it up exactly along the scene how you like. And then once you have this line in the in the composition, what you need to do is assign it um, one of the directions. So if you hit the shift key and click it, you can see that it turns from red to green to blue. Um, why don't we go ahead and make this the z-axis? Uh, so by blue, if you look down here, blue is the z-axis, so we'll assign it there. Um, typically you need to have two lines for each of the directions in order for it to uh, calibrate. So again, we can go on the other side now, line it up along these sort of railroad track-like things in the floor. And there we go. And on this side as well, line this up. Looks pretty good. And then again, click Shift and make this the Z axis. Once you do that, notice down here in the Attributes Manager, the vanishing point Z is solved. Uh, so that helps us out greatly. Uh, next, we can go for the X axis. We can add a line and again, find a point in the ground. I think I'll choose maybe this line right here. That looks pretty good. So I'll grab this, line it up along that point there, grab this side. Line it up along this point here, and then shift and click and make this our X. Uh, let's do one more. I think this, this line back here in the background looks pretty good. So we'll add this one. Let's see here. Maybe along here. That looks good. There. And then one more here. That looks pretty good. Like this. Okay, so now that we've done this, uh, notice that everything else is starting to become solved. We've solved the X by lining in those X lines. Okay, so that's solved. The Y is indirectly solved by just calculating between the um, the X and the Z. It sort of figures out what the Y is going to be, so we don't need to do the any vertical ones. It figures out the focal length and the camera orientation, and now we just need the camera position. So in order to do that, we click on Add Pin. Uh, so we just grab this, add a pin. It's going to give you this little focal thing right here. And you want to do is drop this on one of the corners of uh, any one of those lines. And now we have all of our uh, elements solved. We have X, Y, and Z. Camera orientation, camera position, everything is solved. Which is exactly what we need for the scene. So once you have everything solved, what you can do is create a background object. So this is going to give you a background with a material that is the scene and then it also has frontal projection on it so that it's set up with our uh, form. The other one you can do is click on camera mapping tag and this will apply a camera uh, a map 
camera map to the camera so it knows how to read the file. And then finally, what we can do is click to look through the camera. Just click on this little button here. And everything is going to be lined up in our scene accordingly. So now to get this a little bit further, what we can do is uh, drop in a plane. There we go. Notice when you drop this in, it's lined up along the perspective of the scene. So if we bring this a little bit farther into our composition, if we extend this out a little bit wider, notice how it's lining up with those lines very nicely. And uh, similarly here, it's uh, filling out the perspective just as we want it, which is great. So here what we can do is uh, make this, this is essentially what we're doing is we're making a floor for our object to sit on so that it can cast some shadows and uh, exist within the scene. So what we want to do is um, with this plane, um, we can take uh, this object right here, this is our background object, and drop this onto the plane, okay? And then also change the mapping here to frontal. And then finally with the plane, we're gonna add another tag, Cinema4D tag, and a compositing tag. And here what we wanna do is make sure that we turn comp uh, compositing with the background on, okay? So that's gonna layer that all in, and then when we view this, what we see is a pretty seamless view of, uh, of that composition. Okay, so now that we have a ground, we can bring an object in here to exist within the space. So uh, I'm gonna go content browser, and I'm gonna grab this fluorescent light, again, that I got from the Grayscale Gorilla Ma free model pack. Double click this, bring it into the scene, and then notice that uh, it uh, brings it right into uh, to the composition how we would uh, want to orient it. So here we go. Let's bring this in and bring this up a little bit. Looks pretty good. Let's just make sure that our plane is going to be a little bit farther out here to catch that shadow correctly. Okay, so now that we have the, uh, the light positioned, actually I'm going to bring this forward just a little bit more. Let's see here. Where are we? There we are. Bring this guy forward a little bit more so he's more in the composition. And uh, the last thing I want to do with this is bring in a light. So I'm just going to pop a light in here and uh, move this a little bit farther back in the scene, a little bit over on this side. I'm just going to try to orient it as though it's coming, the light's coming from the skylight, kind of from above. And uh, let's check that out. Looks pretty good. And the last thing I would do with the light then is just add uh, a little shadow. So let's go to shadow, do a soft map, maybe uh, make it a little bit more sort of orangish brown color and uh, about 80%, uh, let's try 90%. Let's see what this looks like here. And uh, almost there, something's going on with my uh, shadow light here, let's check that out. Okay, so let's see, I'm gonna bring this up a little higher. I uh, didn't have the shadow on, so I'm gonna turn the shadow on here. Uh, let's see what it looks like now, we're into this out. There, now we've got a shadow in the scene. Uh, and object is illuminated, and uh, you know the shadows. A little, let's say the shadows a little bit too much. So let's take the light and uh, move it higher, and maybe more behind it a little bit. Let's see what this does for us. Just a little bit less. There we go. Just a little bit of something is good enough. Now we have the object sitting in the scene, uh, you know, mapped out with the. Um, with the camera compositing tag and a cal cal camera calibration tag, rather, and uh, we've uh, dropped a plane in for a floor to catch the shadows. We have also have the, um, the object in the scene with some lighting that mimics the lighting in the scene, and, uh, you know, pretty nice, pretty nice looking render. Okay, good.